Hi guys, today we're gonna to be doing a platypus. So I had triplet boys um, have been doing my videos and they each pick something. So this was a choice by Sam, one of the triplets, and he picked a platypus. And he'd like to name this platypus platy. So this is for you, Sam. Anyways, we are gonna start at, oh, so we're gonna use a pencil, your colored pencil, a Sharpie and eraser, and then you're good to go. Okay, so we're gonna start off now at the bottom, we're going to be doing Platy's head. So you want to do an egg shape. Also, some people have asked, how do I get requests in? So how you can do a request is you can email me at sharesart at gmail.com. So that's S-H-A-R-A-S-A-R-T at gmail.com. And you can type in your request for me. So... What you're gonna do is you're gonna start with Platy's head shape. Now we're gonna do the bill. Stay tuned, I've got some fun facts today and a joke. So this is the this part of the bill and it's gonna come around. It's almost looking like a rounded square. See that? And then we're gonna put this little smile in. So this one part's gonna go a little over. So you can erase right there and then erase in here, because we don't need that anymore. So this is, is gonna be his little smirk. And there you go. And he has a line, we're gonna make a lip here. So one has like a lip. Right here. Actually, I like this to be a little more square. Looks like right here. So we're gonna make that more square. And a line here. And this is, there you go, these two breathing holes. Okay, that part's done. Now I made him, he's kind of has this little cute half smirk. So you're gonna make his eyes right here and give him some eyebrows. Okay, so now we're gonna do his body. So you don't, you want it to look like it's connected. So you're gonna come off with your egg head. See how it's just flowing? You wanna come up, come down. Okay, so it's just one giant hot dog. And we're gonna, only part we're gonna erase is just right here. So we can still see the shape of his head and see how that just flowed. There we go. And we're gonna put his tail back here. So his tail is gonna be flowing off the back end. You guys can make it as long or as short as you want. I think I made his body a little long, but that's okay. That's still gonna work. So I think I made his body shorter. You could just erase in there and say, you know what? I don't want that body to be that long. And just bring down the body. There you go. So you can make it as long or short as you want. Now we're gonna put his so arms and legs. So this side, they're gonna be coming off so we can see where they're connected. Erase so we can see where they're connected. All right, we're gonna come off here. So when you send me a request of what you'd like, you wanna send your name what state you're living in, so I can shout out, and um, what you'd like me to teach in a lesson, and also um, what you'd like to name it. So this is Platy. Now we're gonna go to the other side here. There you go. To this side. And if you don't want them to know who you are, it's okay. We keep it anonymous. So for this back end, we wanna put these lines in here. I'm just doing my pattern like this. And then you're gonna go the other way. Fantastic. Now, Patty's underwater, or Platy, sorry. And I'm gonna make the bubbles, some bubbles bigger, some smaller. All right, ready to Sharpie. 
So, in 19, I mean, 1799, a naturalist named George Shaw first described the platypus. And the way he described him, everybody thought he was making up a fake animal. No joke. They're like, that's not real. Because they like, he has a duck bill and duck feet. He has an otter body with the fur and he's got a beaver tail. Everybody's like, that is not a real animal. But we discover it really was. But I can imagine when George first saw the platypus, he probably was cracking up. He's like, this cannot be a real animal. Because the first time I saw a platypus, I'm like, there's no way that that's real. But it is. And they live mostly in Australia and down there. Unfortunately, platypuses are getting extinct. The reason why is because down there they're having extreme droughts and it is drying up all the riverbanks that these these little cuties live in. And also, I'm sure you guys heard about all those horrible fires that took place and that really took away their environment. Poor guys. But I now have a love for platypuses. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen Phineas and Ferb. Some of you are a little too young or you're seeing Redo. If you get a chance, go watch Phineas and Ferb cartoon. You probably can see it on YouTube or Disney Plus. That's classic. Classic fun one. But the platypus, he is actually a spy. And it just, it's so funny. Because he looks like a ding dong. Because he just kind of goes, I don't know how he talks. But then his eyes are like going the wrong direction. But then he turns into a super spy. And he has missions and things. It's pretty good. I recommend it. Okay, we're going to put the bubbles in. All right, joke for the day. Why do platypus get robbed so often? Because they always have a big bill on them. This is a bill. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, so funny. All right. We're going to outline Pat Platy just the outside. So, um, the triplets aunt sent me a picture of all the triplets doing my lessons. They've got a whole wall. It's like an art wall that they're doing and Every day they do like a new lesson and it shows them they've projected it onto their big TV and they're all sitting side by side, all their little heads. Well, side by side drawing. It's so awesome. Do you guys want to send me your pictures when you're done? You can email me your pictures. Nothing makes me happier than to see your guys' artwork. Really it does. I get so excited to see your guys' creations you've created. You guys are all really good artists, too. I'm impressed. You guys are good. Okay, keep going. All right, something else I've learned, that male platypuses are venomous. Ha! Huh, did you know that? Who knew? Only the male, not the female. And it comes off of their ankle spurs. And to a human, it would just hurt really bad, but it can kill small animals. That's their like defense. Won't kill us, just would hurt. That's, they probably would do that if they're scared. So we just don't wanna scare them. So do you guys remember when I told you guys llamas? Llamas, how they have three stomachs. And we know cows have two stomachs. Guess how many stomachs platypus is not. Zero. They do not have a stomach. You're like, how is that even possible? Okay, we want to come in here and erase. Great job. Now we're going to start coloring our platypus. So the colors I chose, this is, it's only three colors. Dark brown, light brown, light blue, and gray. That's it. That's all there is. So we're going to start with the light brown, and that's the whole body of this guy. Okay, so how do they eat? 
So what they do is when they go dive underwater, he always diving for his food. Also, when you color, try to color the same direction. Okay, so they dive on the food. They just scoop up all their, their food down there, but as they're scooping, they're getting grit and gravel in their mouth. So in their bill, they just grind it. They just chew it away. So that grit and gravel that they're chewing up is also grinding up their food. So it doesn't need to go into a stomach and it just goes straight into their intestines. Also, they discovered that the, the enzymes in the mucus that's in their mouth would just kill the acid in their stomach. So they just, it just goes straight, straight to their intestines. They don't need a stomach. And then they probably just poop out all that gravel. Interesting. You guys are doing great. Okay, I like to go around the edge here and make it darker. Uh-oh, looks like my, I still haven't gotten my pencil sharpener yet, so I'm using a little cheapy thing and it's quite challenging. Because it's just breaking all of my pencils. I need a real pencil sharpener. It's waiting for Amazon Prime. Because no stores are open. See, it, literally, I can take this thing and pop it out. So this is what I've been using. It is not working too well. All right, so this is going to get right now. All right, just go around the outside. What else do we need to learn about platypuses? Okay. Oh, guess what else they don't have? Platypuses don't have teeth either. So that's when I was talking. So they have no stomach, no teeth. So you're wondering, how is that even possible? So I already told you the trick there. It's the gravel. Scoop up that gravel. Who needs teeth, right? We'll just gnaw on stuff. So I'm gonna make it darker right here. If you guys wanna go over it a second time, if you're gonna go this way, and if you wanna go over it again with the color, you wanna go in opposite direction. That just fills it in really good. We want to make sure we get those eyebrows too. Since Platy's a boy, I and I thought this was for Sam, I did not give it rosy cheeks. I was going to, but I didn't. If you want to give it rosy cheeks. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take the dark brown, and that's what its beaver tail is going to look like. Just go one direction. You're doing a great job. Platy's turning out. So I did this. His body's going to be that light brown. His tail's a dark brown. And then I made his beak, it was Bill, and his little flippers are gray. And I'm going to go over all these lines a little bit more. Yes, great. Perfect. So that's all you need for this one. And now you're gonna use gray on these little limbs. I like to go around the outside a little darker. See like that, on the little lines. So I do that on all of them. Now his bill, I'm just gonna go one direction on this and then I'll come back in with outlining it. You guys did a fantastic job here. Platy's coming along. Sam, I hope you liked it. Maybe someday I'll meet you. Great job. And if you guys have a request, go to sharesart at gmail.com. S H A R S A R T. Oh, not dot, uh, Gmail. Yes, yeah, Gmail. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys do the outside. Do you remember when we do this? You're going to do hard on the edges, and then as you come out, you're going to get lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. And then go around our bubbles. Bubble, bubble, bubble. 
Okay, so do that around the whole outside. I hope you guys have a most fantastic day.